Hello, so welcome to this video for Comp 3218 Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. My name's Dave Millard and I'm here with... Uh, my name's Callum and I'm one of the demonstrators on the course. So we're going to have a look at a couple of games that have been handed in for our first coursework. Um, so in this coursework the students were asked to create a game that had a strong core dynamic and that had some kind of tutorial that brought us into the game. So, without further ado, let's have a look at our first one. Okay, so our first game is called Space Runner. Here we go. Uh, okay, so we've got a nice title screen, some quite loud music. So Even on this end, it's very loud. <laughs> I think we might have some problems with levels in this game. Um, because I'm going to turn the sound down so we can hear ourselves, but there is audio narration in the game, and uh, as a result, I think that um, if I turn the sound down, it, it might turn out that the um, they do have a settings menu. Maybe that has some kind of problem. Uh, oh yeah, they do have audio down. Here we go. Let's try that. All right, let's try that and see how we get on. But yeah, I'm worried that we're gonna uh, mm. we're gonna lose out. But all right, let's, let's give it a go. Still, nice menu. I really like the space station model. That's great. Um, yeah, looks good. The settings have already been useful. Let's play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little loading bar. Ah. Ah uh, yeah, so I, there's some there's some audio going on, but the audio is very very quiet. Now now we've turned it down, you can barely hear it. I didn't even realise there was audio. Yeah, there's um, barely audio. So I think I think they've got a, a problem with their levels, um, as in sound mm. levels. Um, I wonder if I can let's put the audio up. Um, oh, there we go. And see if we get any better. In fact, I wonder if I can go back to the menu. Let's try playing again. Play. Is, the... is, is this connected to changing levels? Ah. Okay. Can you hear that? Uh, Captain, you can hear me. Especially I can just me. about hear some voices. Currently waiting for you. Um, hopefully you're still not so they're, in, the, in the changing room. They're telling us that Should they've come through to our changing rooms. Past. And they want us to. The, the spaceship is almost ready to go, and I've got to get there as quickly as I can. So, and as you can hear, my footsteps are now deafeningly loud. Mm. Let's leave them up, and so I can hear. Oh, E. Oh, there we go. Oh. What? W. Oh, U. U. I think that's space. Be a space bar. Space. Okay. There we go. That makes a bit more sense. I was like, how am I supposed to get to that? So this is something that um, I noticed when we were um, playing this in the demo ah. uh, demos, is that the first thing they show you about jumping is the double jump. Yes. They don't. They don't get you to do a single jump first, which seems like an odd choice. And in fact, I wasn't clear it was a double jump to be honest. Hey. Although, I quite like the fact they're making me just sort of negotiate around the space station. Shift. What are they trying to show me here? Shift W. Do anything? Mm. Uh, so this is, um, having spoken, this is supposed to be uh, sprinting. Um, so that's normal. And you, you can tell. Ah, yeah, okay, very slight. You can mainly hear from the sound footsteps yeah. change. Yeah, that's um, I, I made a suggestion to because initially the footsteps were constant throughout, which made it very hard to tell. tell. The difference. Yep, it definitely works. Uh, and then what's this? A jump? I, uh, a wall jump? Yes. <laughs> be lucky. This, these can get a little bit awkward to. All right. So faster. I'll see. You. Nope, absolutely hopeless. 
because I've already played all the way through this, so I don't. So, I'll, I'll leave you to try and work it out yourself. So I have to be honest, this is a personal weakness of mine that I am terrible at wall jumping. So they're walking all the way along there. How are they doing that? Okay, so I'm supposed to jump like that. Oops. Okay. Hmm. We're going to be here for a while. Um, do you so, want me to just tell you how to do it? Well, I presume it... Well, there shouldn't be a secret to it, right? It should be just wall jumping, isn't it? Go on. Yeah, it took me a little while to figure it out as well. So if you um, hold left or A in this case, yeah. you just sort of stick to the wall. Um, so okay. if you jump into the wall, yeah. you just stay there. And then what you have to do is jump, and then jump again, going left. You have to use the double jump, because it, it, uh, it's your, okay. you can change direction in the air. Which is a little bit awkward. But then I can't double jump off the other wall. Doesn't stick the other wall? Uh, no, only the grey walls um, you can stick to. So can I... can I... can I... Or rather, only the dark grey walls, I guess. Oh dear. Yeah. I'm actually thinking it might be easier for me to go up the... There you go. Now you're getting it. Right. So it wasn't actually... Ah, see... Okay, I see... So what I've done there is I've figured out what they've actually tried to show me. I thought this guy was jumping from the grey wall to the other grey wall, like a double, like a ladder jump. But he's actually yes. jumping up the same wall. That's, That's not, um, not very clear. But Okay, we got here. We got here. It took me a while to get through the first time as well. Right, here we go. So some nice plants. It's a nice, very nice space station. Mm. Okay. Right. So I can see the space station outside. So what's in there? Oop. Right. I don't think I've missed any narration. I've still got it turned turned up. I haven't heard anything. Well unless I just dive down and see what's down there, I guess. What's that stuffy something down there, isn't there? Am I gonna die? No, I'm here. Yeah, this was this was another thing that um, uh, what I... I I noticed when we were doing it in the uh, labs is that uh, oh. you don't. Well, oh, I missed it. Oh, oh I'm here again. Okay. I assume this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, just made it. That is mm. that is actually a very long jump to make, as my first ever jump, as it were. Or proper jump. Okay, so I go around the corner. Um, this looks like sticky walls, which are going to be hideously difficult for me to do, but I'll try my best. Yeah. Where am I supposed to be going here? Uh, oh my life, it's all the way up so, there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is something that I try I tried several times to very little success. But the way that they're spaced you can actually just jump left and right, um, and you can get high enough that you can you don't need to go round in a circle. You can just go left and right and then back and forth across that. Right, so if I jump over there. And then jump to the one across. And then you can jump back to the other side. Right, except I can't see what I'm doing. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't even got to my spaceship yet. <laughs> um, okay. Oops. Yeah.
I'm not saying anything because it's incredibly difficult. Uh, as I said, admittedly, I am terrible at dog jumping. Um, <laughs> well, I've played uh, a lot of these stuff types wall of games, jumping, well. um, yeah. and uh, I gotta say, I also found this very awkward to do. Um, oh, yeah, just stop, stopped middle. The fact that um, you can just suddenly change direction midair um, with the double jump is. It takes a little while guess, so, to get used to. What's, I think is it automatically jumping away from the wall if you jump? Yeah. Right. That's that's what's causing me a problem as well. Am I facing the wrong way here? I think so. I think the entrance is behind you. Oh, oh. Oh. No, no. Where am I going? So I'm supposed to be going. I can't see. I think it's Up the there. other way. So I, I think the idea is that you continue in the direction you have been going. Right. <clears> so <throat> I need to be facing in that way. Yeah. There. Where is it? Um, good question. I actually think it's back behind you. Oh, that's what I thought I was facing. It's very hard to see. See, I'm it'd be very... nicer if, if, if there was sort of a just a room there, so you could jump off from any direction. Because yes. having to sort of intuit which way you should be facing is somewhat awkward. Although, admittedly, we're not taking the intended route, aren't we? Uh, no, the, the idea is that you, you sort of go round in a spiral, but that's much harder than doing this. If you can believe it. Oh! oh. <laughs> I saw it! I saw <laughs> I saw it! I wonder... So one of the things that we, we tell them about with play testing mm. is, you know, play test with people who've not played the game before because by the time you get to the end you've become an expert in your game mm. and this this well, looks to me like it's a classic example of that where where they may yeah. find this quite easy but, oh jesus right there we go we're in I did it. right I and did, then... when speaking to them they did say that they'd done um play testing but i don't know they were, I'm not sure oh. how many different people they got to do it with. Oh, that's the So that's the speaker. Oh, that's. A so nice that's touch. quite nice, yeah. Security. So okay. That's... Okay. Oh, got a gun. So they're implying that I shoot that. So I quite, I quite like what they've tried to do with the little tutorial things. Um, they haven't been 100% successful. Mm. Okay. Now I think this is another example of them maybe making the challenges for the sort of doing the tutorial maybe a little bit too much. Right, so most you have to go all the way around this room, um, and then to get up to there and through there, and I got to so yeah. okay, okay, so I've got to shoot these things, get up, 
Although at least I get some time to do it, I think. Well, you do for this bit. Um, and then, the last part. That's a long jump. You have to make a. Yep. Really long jump. While I'm while I'm trying and failing to do this, shall we start talking about some of the criteria? I think our first up is presentation. What's your sort of yeah, feeling so about the presentation here? Oh, um, I made that jump. They've definitely tried gone for a specific uh, visual at least. They've definitely gone for a very specific look that they're trying to yeah. maintain, and that's clear. Let me turn that um, There up. are. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. All right. Okay. Well, I don't. The audio appears to have. This appears to have broken. Yeah. Right. Let me kill it for a minute. Let's reload it, and we'll work our way mm. through. So, go on, you were talking about the presentation. Yes. Uh, like, uh, graphically, aesthetically, they're clearly trying to go for, like, quite a consistent look, um, which I think they largely pull off. Yeah. With one sort of very large exception. Which, yeah. Which, which is? is the, at least in my opinion, the design of all of the interior rooms and everything in there yeah. is very pretty wildly different to this massive orbiting structure around you. Um, like whenever you look out the windows it's almost like you're looking at something from a different game. Yeah, a little bit. I kind of I come on, perhaps I'm, a, oh, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm about to be more forgiving, but maybe I won't be forgiving after I've had <laughs> to play this this damn wall thing again. <laughs> um, there we go. Also, See? there is. Um, so interestingly, in some of the sections. So sorry, interestingly, I, I was going to say, look how quickly I got up there now because I know what to do. Mm. So my problem was is that this completely threw me because I thought I was supposed to be jumping onto this wall and then this wall and then this wall mm. in, in that sort of classic ladder jump. So yeah, when you when you and actually that, just that go up, really, that would be a really, that would be a really easy thing to fix by just moving that wall further. I know, away just so get it away. That that's not that. um, um, but yeah, there's a few points where you can see from the outside of this sort of structure. Yeah. Um, like I think when you finish, when you run past this bit and make this big jump. Yeah. You can see the outside, and it's very clearly. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, that's really hard. Yeah, I mean, I I see what you mean. Yeah, they they kind of um, there's there's some bits like here where it doesn't quite fit. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a really unforgiving jump, isn't it? At least they've they put yes. you back there and they don't start you right at the beginning. No, still not doing it. I didn't actually realise the first couple of times that I did this that the floor was falling away behind me. Yeah, let's let's do it. <sighs> see, uh -huh. see, I'm hmm. Unless I, unless you can actually hit the jump beyond the floor space, which you can. Right there, you go. There we go. That's if interesting. If you turn around there, though, if, if you turn around, you can look back around. And see the sort of layout of the entire section that you've just been in. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. With these giant grey concrete blocks, which then, when you contrast yeah. with the background, it feels very yeah straight. I mean, I think I think the graphics are the graphics are kind of the the they're definitely you know they're working, they're doing the job, um, and the same mm. is true of the sound effects. I kind of the you know the, and there's they're, they're all here, right? So I've got music, I've got some um, yeah, I've got sound effects moving around. I had that little bit of narration at the beginning. Um, mm. There's not much information design to speak of, um, but uh, oh, this is going to be a really difficult bit. But you know that's that's okay. So for me, I would say it's sort of workable in terms of where it is, mm. um, which puts it at the sort of I mean, satisfactory level, I think. Yeah, the only like the audio, as you said, is pretty solid. The only thing, obviously, that we've encountered is that it is deafeningly loud. 
yeah. But you know, that's the kind of thing that does catch you out when you when mm. you when you start off. Um, right. Um. So if we think about the meaningful yeah, I think play. So it's, yeah. So um, with, sorry, with the workable point, that's with workable. That's, that's, that's yeah, the design described as effective, but yeah. some inconsistencies. Which yeah. I think, yeah, absolutely describes the presentation. Yeah, I think so. So if we think about play. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, God. I mean. So like, this is about the mechanics, controls, and bugs. And. Yeah. So. I think we've. Demonstrated pretty well that the controls are awkward. Yeah, there's there's some there's some there's some real problems with the with the controls being a bit bit awkward. Um, however, I would still describe it as playable. So, and I I, I mean we've Absolutely. seen we've seen that kind of very minor bug with the with the audio settings thing, but but I'm playing it mm. and and this time you can see I'm I'm much better at it, right? Um, mm. So so I would say that's that's you know they they've uh, They've done a a classic thing of yes, it's a bit hard, but you know you can play it, and I felt mm. like I'm making progress and I'm getting summer each time. Yeah. So yeah, I would say it's in the playable level, which is sort of yeah, if satisfactory. You, if you sorry, if you turn to look at the opposite wall there. Yeah. Um, there you can see those two jumps with the you have to hit both of those buttons while you're running, um, which is. <laughs> <laughs> Exceptionally difficult. Let's let's just um, assume and it's I'm... not it's not a problem necessarily with the gameplay. It's just this is a really hard room to clear. Yeah, and also it's um... a, it's a bit of a strange choice for um because mm. this is it feels it feels like I'm still in the tutorial, mm. right? Because oh, I mean that's that's a massive jump again. Yeah. So it's, so that's why the difficulty levels feel so off is because I'm I'm expecting yeah. this to be quite forgiving, right? Uh, and it yeah. is not. Yeah, and forgiving. I mean the difficulty of it has been slowly increasing. Um, yeah. But uh. here they've just introduced this new mechanic with the gun and yeah. the sliding blocks, it's and they haven't reduced that difficulty back down. Yeah, it's all sort of too much. All right, well let's let's think about this. So we're we're on the kind of um, into the bit where we're talking about the brief and and they were talking about the level design. And about kind of are there a coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards here? Um, so what we're really looking for here is is perhaps alternative routes through the level. Where oh, so what my problem was there was I wasn't running. Um, yeah, alternative routes through the level where I can choose harder or easier routes depending on. Um, sorry, I forgot I want to, to write something. down the. I forgot to write down the thing for presentation. We ah. said that was. Uh, uh, we said yes, with, yes, uh, satisfactory. That was. Satisfactory. Yeah. I was too engrossed. Um, right, I'm gonna try and make sure I remember to run this time. I'm not gonna make it. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, that's a really, um, sorry, really unforgiving. So yeah, so for the level design, oh, I was sure. I was just saying we're kind of we're looking for alternative routes through. Where I've got choices to make about whether or not I'm going to take a harder route in order to get you know more benefits. So perhaps there's more collectibles, or mm. um, it's faster, or um, I'm not seeing anything like that here. Um, there's not much no. in, the, in the terms of rewards. Oops. This is. Um, I think this is very much a case of this is the path. This is the challenge. You have to complete it. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you don't progress. Oh, I keep like I keep banging my head on there. I also think <laughs> that the jump the jumps are um, almost too unforgiving. Yes, I think that's also probably a case of like they've designed it by testing it themselves, and then yeah, the playtests maybe not haven't always. So, I haven't necessarily uh, covered that. Yeah, well that is a whopping jump there. Um, so mm. I think we have a bit of a problem with goals, risks, and rewards because I. Mm. What is there? There's um. 
I mean, even at a sort of general, like, top level perspective, I have no idea why we're here or what we're doing. No. Um, I don't know if the uh, narration at the start helps with that. I, I um, couldn't hear it. So the narration at the start basically says, oh, you're changing in your room. Your ship's about to take off. Make your way to the ship. So your goal... So okay, so in terms of goals, I think I think your goal is relatively clearly set out. It's like make your way to the ship. I be honest, I wasn't mm. expecting it to be quite as difficult as this, because um, it's like I'm just getting to the ship. I thought what I was expecting was a kind of little tutorial level, which took me through the space station on my way to the game, and on the way taught me the controls. Mm. Right. Um, I also think, um, yeah. So I so I think the kind of um, the goal, the goal is relatively clear, so that that is something we can give them here. Okay. Um, in terms of risks and rewards, um, I'm not, I'm not really given any choices here. I, I kind of have to, have to play in a particular way. Um, I'm definitely trying to compete a set of challenges, um, and oh, see, oh, surely I would have made that. I'm definitely trying to complete a set of challenges, and there's there's not much flexibility in that. So, yeah, I, I think we can say that there's the, the the goal element is clear, but the other bits are are, are, mm. are lacking. So for me, I would say that the goal is um is is kind of coherent. So that's a sort of satisfactory level, but that the the other elements, the risks and rewards, is down at the kind of the poor level. So well, I mean, there aren't risks or rewards. No, they're they're so. kind of you know they're they're well, are there different ways? There you know there are slightly different ways you can tackle the jumps and things, but they're they. I suppose there's it's, that. It's not really meaningful. That, that one chimney where um, there's you can go round in a circle or you can just bounce back. Exactly, and, forth. and that's basically but the only thing that's that, there. That, so, yeah, that doesn't feel uh, well. I don't believe it's intended. I don't know whether having unintended risks and rewards Ugh. really matters. Well, um, I think for me, like, that, that if kind it of... exists, does it matter that they didn't mean it to be there? <laughs> I think. Well, the problem is we can't second judge, so it's yeah. there. So we we can't say whether they intended it or not. So I think we just say, look, there there is some very limited um, risks and rewards. Um, so for me, I would say the goals, risks, and rewards is probably um, either at the poor level, or because the goal's a little bit clearer, perhaps you could say it's halfway between poor and a pass. I would be inclined to say to go with the poor side, because again, there's ah, there we go. There's, I think, a lot of these rooms that. Oh my god, you made it! I'm, I know, I know, <laughs> and I've got to get over there. So, so, so you reckon I've got to shoot these two things? What I would say is shoot the shoot the one that's further away first usually because it's harder to hit and this would disappear very quickly oh oh that worked hey there we go that wasn't too Bizarre. bad there we, right here we go ah uh, it's a wall jump thing but i don't you just have to walk along the wall just hold left and go forward yeah but the problem is is that it's so hard i can't actually see if i'm stuck to the wall or not all right here yeah. we go I have to be honest. If if I was living in work, uh, working in this, yeah. where's it going to put me? Oh, um, it's put me here. God bless them. <laughs> um, I have to say, if I was living and working in this uh, space station, and this was the gauntlet I had to run every day <laughs> in order just to get to the office, I think I'd yeah, be quite this, upset. <laughs> this is definitely not up to code. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. So where do we get to? So, um, so yeah. Okay. I, I, I think you're probably right. I think we can say that the, 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 the goals lifts it off of the absent. There's some elements there, but the, the lack mm. of got risks and rewards. What about the pacing? Um, um, so I think we didn't actually. Uh, maybe I miss. I was. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not sure we actually settled on a level for the mechanics, controls, and bugs. Oh yeah, we we said uh, we said satisfactory because it's it's playable. Um, I can control it. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Ah, I see. Yeah. So it's that one. Do they go away again? They do, don't they? 
Uh, right, I think I'm not going to get much further than this, if I'm totally honest. Yeah, I can get past this bit um, either. Yeah, just fall hopelessly to my death. Um, yeah, okay, so in terms of pacing, um, well, there's definitely some, I def there's definitely sort of rising tension. I think it definitely gets harder, right? We've just mm. thrown through a room where I went, oh, that was tough, and I get to this one, and I'm like, nope, this is crazy difficult. I can't do this. <laughs> Yeah, that's so, it. it does. It does consistently rise, but it doesn't. Yeah, the difficulty rise doesn't match the situation. Um, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I, I honestly, if we weren't doing a let's play, I just give up at this point. And walk off. I think. All <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Uh, yeah. I think you're right. So. So good would be rises over time in a coherent pattern, and I'm not getting. The kind of, I mean, I suppose I've get, I'm getting, I'm getting little set pieces, and it's resetting me to those set pieces. So there is an element of a coherent pattern, where where each piece is kind of, you know, building on and getting harder than the last. Um, oh, I can't even jump. Yeah, into that. I, think that, I think my so, my main yeah. my main uh, problem with that is that. I, <sighs> It is a pattern, but it does not really make sense for what's happening no. because of how it, it ramps up so fast and does not relent even when you've just learned a new mechanic. Ah. Uh, Hopeless. Hopeless. Um, yeah, so I, I think I think for me, you might argue that it... it I think it definitely hits the satisfactory. Tension clearly rises over time, I think it yeah. does. Um, but yeah, perhaps perhaps we don't have a, a kind of a properly coherent pattern um, that's going on. Mm. Um, in terms of the tutorial, I did have a gradual explanation of gameplay and controls, um, and they were certainly revealed as I played. So you know, we started off and the the, the, the things popped up. So actually, mm. I think they they've tried to do this really well. Actually, the problem is I don't think they've quite got it right because I kept misunderstanding what they were telling me to do. So it was things like when yeah. they introduced the double jump, I didn't realise it was a double jump. That wasn't clear. When I got to the wall mm -hmm. jump, I didn't really understand that that only that side was sticky and that you couldn't jump to the other side. And, and the animation, because the corridor was so small, it wasn't clear to me from looking at it. But they tr they have tried to do it. They tried to lead you through. Um, and then obviously the difficulty, I think, ramps up way too quick. So it ramps up mm -hmm. while you are learning the controls and what what i really yeah. wanted to have is i want to have i want to have a couple of these rooms where i'm doing relatively simple things and learning the controls and moving around before i get to these much more difficult challenges um i i mean personally if i was designing this game this like for instance this chamber you're in now this would probably be like one of the sort of end level kind of things because this yeah. requires a great mastery of the controls it does yeah, um it does. i can't speak too much about the how well the tutorial goes personally because i spoke to them a lot during the labs yeah. and already knew how to play it when i was yeah um trying it out but well so the fact that for instance as you said there was that um with the first wall jump thing uh it, it was wasn't quite clear and there's a very easy there was a very easy solution to that in just moving the other wall away that's right yeah um i do I... really like the sort of use of those little ghost people yes what you're yeah they've got do. some nice stuff so i mean it's absolute so a pass would be gradual explanation of gameplay controls and reels as you play i think they're definitely there satisfactory mm. would be yeah. somewhat aligned with play and i think you probably say they're about there and what's stopping them from mm -hmm. being fully aligned with play is is the the fact that they're introducing, as you said, it's it's that it's the the mastery element is is coming too soon, and it's oops, and it's sort of getting in the way of of learning the game, and some of the things they've tried to pull off don't quite work. So for me, I think for tutorial, I'd still say it's satisfactory, and I think what they've tried to do, like you said, with the with the little ghost character. Um, so sort of they're gradually introducing things as you go. That that's textbook. Mm. Um, it's just yeah. It's it's happening and within the context of of a very very hard set of challenges, um, which doesn't 
doesn't yeah. give you the space to learn how to, to do it. You sort of I, despite oh, um, almost made it. making several criticisms of their tutorial, yeah. I think actually I would put it halfway between satisfactory and good, because although you know there's a few points where they clearly haven't managed to pull it off, they've done a, the, the sort of attempt that's been made is, as you said, it's like a very sort of textbook, this is exactly how you should be doing this. Yeah. And, you know, they've, they've okay. sort of just mixed the mark on a few I think them, that's fair. I, I, I think I'd give them a little bit more it, It's very hard. When, when a game is so difficult, it's very hard to mm. sort of see through that and see some of these other elements. So, yeah, I think I'm prepared to, to accept that. Yeah, that's, uh, so that's halfway between satisfactory and good. So that takes us on to the core dynamic, um, which we so we, we asked them to hand in some game notes and to say in their game notes what that core dynamic was. Mm. Um, so I'm interested in what they think it is. I'm guessing it's probably spatial reasoning is what they were going for, but which one is this? This is um, space runner. Space runner, yeah. Um, so they said it was race to the end, um, because the player is timed until they reach the end, which I did not realize. So we did see, okay. I forget where we saw it, there was a door somewhere which had a, which had a timer on it, um, and I meant, I, I, I noticed it, and I, darn it, and I meant to point it out to you, um, but yeah, okay, it's, it's not a race to the end, is it? It's, um... Mm. Uh, I... They have also. They've said it has a sub dynamic of spatial awareness, and I think maybe if they put those the other way around, you could make an argument for that. But I, I think yeah, it, this is very clearly a spatial awareness. Yeah, thing. I, I think I think basically, yeah. If you think about how they push it in either of those two directions, so if they wanted to make this a race to the end, they need to have a timer. The timer needs to be going all mm. the time. I must be able to see it. And the other thing is, is that. The challenges shouldn't be um, uh, these kind of um, uh, they they should be speed challenges, right? They should be ways of navigating mm. through. And again, I think the difficulty is too high. Maybe if you maybe if you are an expert at this, right? Maybe then it becomes possible to treat it as a speed challenge. So maybe we're being a little bit sort mm. of uh, a little bit unfair, you know? When you when you when you really get used to these controls and you start to be able to do it. Um, I wouldn't mind betting that they, for example, can get up here pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm finding it almost impossible. So They have said in their notes that, um, as you mentioned, there are apparently digital clocks around the map that show you the time. Yeah, but I definitely saw for one. For me, have I, I didn't notice any of them at any point during the time I've played this, and I've I played this several times. So I, if you really wanted to emphasize that sort of... Um, yeah timing element. I, I just have the timer constantly present in the corner yeah. of the screen or somewhere. There, there's too much dead time. So there's too much time going, oh, look at the space station and, and looking around and finding stuff and that kind of thing. So I, I yeah, I'm not convinced they've, I'm not convinced it works particularly well. Um, the primary mechanics here, so we've got jumping, we've got the, the shooting mechanic. Um, mm. Oh. Uh, yeah, we, what else have we, is, what I else have we got? There's the very strangely behaving wall running, but it is, it's consistent. The, the wall running, yeah. So, a little bit unintuitive. So, so, maybe we, I think, I think if where you were trying to go was a bit more obvious, and if you mm. were constantly being pushed forward, and encouraged to, to race forward through, through the level, there's a timer going, then mm -hmm. then they would have a race to the end kind of dynamic going on. But as it is, it feels I mean it's not I'm not puzzle solving, right? But I'm trying to but I am spending a lot of time figuring out the route and kind of yeah. and then trying to get I, it doesn't just doesn't quite work. So I don't think it's disastrous, but I think it's kind of yeah. Yeah. Like my first instinct going into this room is look around, work out where everything is. And how to get to the end? Like, yeah, I wouldn't immediately just start jumping. Yeah. Um, so the yeah. So I, so I was going to say a, a pass is an attempt at a core dynamic, but not well supported by the primary mechanics, and and mm. that kind of feels where we are here, 
right? If, so a, a paw would be the mechanics detract from it. And actually the, the mechanics of, of jumping, shooting targets, wall jumping, you know, they, they, they don't necessarily detract from that idea at all. Ooh, I jumped through the window. Um, can you stand on that window? With that, if you don't shoot the wall in, can you? Oh, possibly. Yeah. Possibly. I sort of bounced off it a bit. Let me try. I, yeah. Oh, there okay. you go. It's that much easier. Interesting. Because, um, yeah, this is the thing. If they'd said this was a spatial reason game, I would argue that actually they've done a pretty good job of setting up the mechanics to fit with that. Because double jump off that, it, it 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 is a spatial reasoning game, as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, if they want it to count as a race to the end, it's just not quite there. For some reason, I can't double jump off of the ledge. But uh, yeah, so I mean, but I don't think it's I, I don't think it's disaster. I think you know they've attempted it. It's just that the, it's not been particularly well supported. And, and it's not even the primary mechanics necessarily, it's by the level design. The level design is not supporting it. Um, mm. But yeah, so I, I would say that's kind of at a pass. And then that, that kind of takes us to feedback. Um, so what what was the feedback that they said they got? I will bring that up. Uh, so we said, wait, this is at a pass level, so dynamic. I think it is, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so the feedback, that is a lot of feedback. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think quite a few of them uh, didn't necessarily realise that um, less is more when it comes to the feedback. But um, yeah, what did they what did they say? Um, I'm going to skip over some of the things that I think are sort of largely relevant. So um, one of the bits they had was to... Um, Add separate sounds to movement, and this is uh, this is something that I definitely said to them in the lab. I don't know if anyone else did, um, but uh, they originally just had oh, like, this, this a is single the, this sound is the, for all movement. This is to have the running sound. Yeah, and the jumping and all of that. It's this slightly oh. different. Which, um, I think they've done well, mostly um, done pretty well to help uh, distinguish between those. At least in terms of audio, they yeah. say that um, they say that there is a different sound for the single and the double jump, but I'm not sure if I can hear that. There is a there is a sort of a, a second wump sound as you go up, so okay, it's like a cluck cluck sound there, and then there's a sort of sort of I don't know like a wumpy sound. So yeah, there kind of is. So. So okay, so I mean, they've, yeah, that's an effective change. That that perhaps. Um, um, what else is on their list? Um, so there's one of them is apparently uh, they originally had it the the player was uh. forced to look at the sort of tutorial ghost things. Yeah. Um, and it was suggested to them that they don't do that um, because it they've said. Uh, uh, Making the player stop to watch a ghost uh, ruins the momentum of the player, which affects the idea of the race to the end. Yeah. So they just moved where the ghosts were. See, it's interesting that they see that, but they don't see stopping to figure out how to get up somewhere as doing mm. the same thing to kill the momentum. Yeah. Okay, and do they have any this other any other major points? There, there's, they, they actually have a point about... Um, uh, being told that it was too difficult and punishing. Yeah. Um, and uh, apparently they have adjusted parts of the level to make it easier, and like they made the <laughs> buttons bigger so they were easier to shoot. Okay. And I hate to I see it. I cannot beforehand. imagine how difficult this <laughs> must have been. That's been a nightmare. I mean, in uh, fairness, it does strike me as the kind of game that you that you do get skilled with, right? Um, and I, I wouldn't mind betting that they can whiz through this level and probably don't find it too too, too tricky. Um, mm. But yeah, yeah, okay. So look, I mean, I uh, are there any other... the most interesting, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, are there, are there any other major pieces of feedback they have? Earlier, um, one of the bits of feedback was add risk and reward to the game. Ah, and what do they do? Um,
I'm just gonna quick read through this. Oh. No. Is that? Am I? Am I almost there? Is this like the last bit? Okay. So. I think it might be. That looks like my ship. So apparently they give. Um, additional challenges that I'm guessing are worth extra points or something. But at yeah. the end of the level, it says uh, you get um, you get a special bonus for if you never stopped moving or if you uh, didn't miss a shot right. with the gun. Yeah. Um, which you get after completing it. Which um, I say would count as a bit of a risk reward thing to go for. Hmm. Um, unfortunately, we didn't know about it until they told us in the document. Yeah. If that was maybe, if it was possible to, like, no, if we knew about that earlier, then yeah. maybe uh, that, yeah. that could give you. I think but without knowing in advance that that's an option. I just can't. Um, I can't you, get my you, double you can't, Yeah, you no, can't I, no I agree. I agree. You just don't so, know it's an option. So if we were to think about this, so. Um, uh, pass would be feedback was addressed, but the changes have had limited success, right? And a satisfactory would be feedback was addressed, and the changes have been somewhat successful, and good would be they have been successful. And some of the minor points they talked about, I think they've been successful, right? Um, yeah. some, some of the things, um, like making it a bit easier, I think they've been somewhat successful. Um, and some of the things, um, such as adding the risk-reward thing, I, I don't think they've... They've had limited success. I don't think they've managed to make it go through. So I would say that the the feedback is is probably in the satisfactory range, maybe halfway between satisfactory and a pass. Right, that they've that they've they've come up with they've, they've had some feedback. They've made changes. It hasn't had an impact on the game, but it hasn't managed to fix any of the kind of critical issues. Um, that's my gut feeling. Yeah. Um... It's a very pretty space station, though. Um, um, yeah. So I, I, I think that's probably... This is... Yeah. Yeah, this is... this is. There's a lot of um, discussion in this about um, being given feedback about the difficulty of it and um, sort of controls. Yeah. And, like, reading through this, they have clearly tried, but... Um, so, so... Uh, give it, given that it's sometimes right given that they have some that's worked as well mm -hmm. let's say that for the feedback it was satisfactory right that they've they've made some that have worked yeah. they've made some that haven't worked and they've some that have had some limited success so so yeah I mean an, a, a nice a, an interesting game and I kind of mm. and I and I think had they had they um, led in had they had a longer tutorial section that actually allowed you to master the controls in a in a, in a more safe environment, basically. Um, mm. I mean, some of the stuff they've done has worked really well. I think the respawn points we haven't mentioned those, but they're they're very well placed, and they've made what would have been a, a punishing game into a difficult game. I think so. I think they have avoided that punishing bit, mm. but yeah, the difficulty curve is probably just too compressed. I think, but uh, yeah, but but good attempt. Okay, shall we move on to our next game? Uh, yeah. Okay, so our next game is called Untitled Gravity Game, which sounds intriguing. So it looks like it's running in a window. That's fine. Uh, level select, always a very good option. <laughs> Unlock all, that's quite, oh, that's nice as well. So you get kind of a, mm. all right, let's do level one. Nice little. I'm going to say, I really like the look of that title screen. Yes, it's very good, isn't it? So it's telling me to use uh, left, right, and space. Oh, yeah, okay. So very oh. cute little animation. Mm. Okay, so I... I will say, I feel like this sort of uh, low-poly astronaut doesn't quite fit with the um, sort of pixel art aesthetic of the rest of the game no. so far. No, and actually these... Um, these uh, Collectibles are a bit. Um, they, they're also a bit, uh, bit low pixel, aren't they? They're kind of. Uh, mm. But you know, kind of. 
So I never. Um, oh, so maybe don't I haven't. Test I didn't. That. Oops. I didn't um, play this game at any point during the labs. I'm not sure if I even spoke to this team, so I have no idea what to expect. So okay, so that's a bit odd. I started off. God, I didn't see where the door appeared. Injuries equals two. Okay, so. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Ah! Ah! Um. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, right, I'm sort of getting it down. Alright. Um. Oops. Oh, that's a bit unforgiving. So I, I die if I go. Up the side of that. Oh, injuries. So that's a counter. I thought maybe the injuries yeah. equals three was a sort of health bar, but it's just counting how many times you've died. That's Ooh. that makes more sense. Oops. Yeah. Oops. I was just about to say that we've got we found a game that uh, you're actually good at, and then that <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh, go away. Run away. Oops. So I'm not clear whether is it required to get all the collectibles well, to finish let's the level find out. or it looks yes. like it is. So it would have been nice to maybe I can't change in mid mid jump as well, I can't hover. Oh, that would have been a very interesting um, so thing I to do. It would have been nice to know how many I had to get, actually. Yeah, if there was even just like a counter on the screen showing so like those five out of sync? seven. I think those are out of sync. Yeah, they pause at the end. And... So I think what that means is that there are some times where it's actually impossible for me to do this bit. I suppose that's maybe part of the challenge where you have to... Wait until you've got yeah. The, right. the fact that you can oh, hit that spike. That spike there the is really is. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So go in here. So yeah, I have to kind of wait for them to. There we go. Hey. Right. So there we go. Okay. Uh, oh no. <laughs> stepping stones. Oh, very, very almost, almost pressed jump. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. Ah, interesting. Oh, that's oh. interesting. I hit space, but didn't I? Oh, it was too late. I like that they uh, describe it as injuries, despite the fact that when you touch things, you explode. But it feels a little bit more than I an can't, injury. I can't, you can't jump in midair, so that's interesting. Maybe no, surely. Maybe so I think what if I need you to go do... onto that platform, you have to go to the one behind it. Oh no, yeah. that works. I just have to press space before I come off the end of the platform, and I've got to time my jump here. Oh, this is better than all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't, I don't move with the platform. <laughs> oh, oh, that's evil. That's evil. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Oh, see. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So I come across here. I do like the fact there's a little. Um, if I can get to that bit in the middle, I get, I get. Oh, I get some. Um, oh, that's. That's a bit horrible as well. Well, I don't want to jump ahead, but there is definitely increasing difficulty. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh dear. I, in fact, the, so the problem I'm having with this one is the controls are quite unforgiving. But by mm. by which I mean, it's not quite the controls, but the, the it's little. So it's things like I can't jump in midair, which is fine. But there you are. So, do you see me fall off the end of there? It doesn't. Yeah. It feels to me like I I shouldn't, right? Like I can't 
Like, I pressed... So if I'm here and I press space and jump... Uh, there's things like that or, and, and I fall off. And it's like the hitboxes are... Um, seem to be slightly bigger than the actual graphics. So it's quite easy mm. to get killed on things. So it's... Yeah, like there. Like yeah. I, I don't feel I like... Suspect, I suspect what happened is they discovered that if you can uh, switch direction in the air, you can just sort of flappy bird your way through all of the obstacles. Yes. Um, which which is fine. Which is fine. And so they've made um, a... They've made the and, and you're absolutely right. That's exactly what people do, is they do the old flappy bird thing through. But... Yeah, this is going to be quite tricky. But it's it's un it's unforgiving. I think is the word I'm looking for. It feels like it's. Do you remember when I said that you were good at this game? Yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> oh my life! Unfortunately, what's happening now is I'm getting impatient. I think when you entered this room, you had like 15 injuries, and you're up to 47 now. Well, I can't even jump. It's because you don't move with the platform, so I can't. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, there's See, a saw. Uh, no, there's a well. saw. That's, like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That's just horrible. All right, maybe I can. Yeah. I can go with this. Uh, but again, I've got to move with it, and I've got. To, is that moving with the saw or? Oh damn. Oh. <sighs> yeah. This is well. In fairness, we can always we can always jump out, and I can try a different level. Right. Yeah, I, I th suspect that's why they uh, gave us the unlock oh, yeah. all levels option. Oh, always a good idea. Should we um, yeah, get started think, with the So can I, is there a... Ah, there we go. I can, I can give up. Very nice. So I got to level 7. Look at me. That's not bad. I'm going to unlock all and go to level 8. <laughs> right, here we go. What does what? that do? Ah, that bounces you back down again. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, the big hitbox. blue bar thing. I didn't see that at oh, first. Oh, that hitbox is so annoying on that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, so... Are you making the move, or is that... Is the blue box... The blue box like, automatically moves problems. you down. So, that will kill me there. But I need to do that, and then do that, and then... Oh. Those spikes are just such a pain. The fact that you die there. Yeah. That, that, would, that would make I'm a massive difference. That that's the bug. I'm um, guessing so. If that was a choice, then. Uh, yeah. It's. I. That, that, that would be mad. Oh. <laughs> just all the time. And it's a shame in a way because it's spoiling what is otherwise, I think, a very nicely put together game. Yeah. With with lots of interesting puzzles. There's, there's lots to like with this. But it's like if I jump now I'll die because of that spike. Even if yeah. I don't go even if I don't go right. So this bit here is just a repeat of the last room but upside but down. Upside down. Which I think I think works. And I've got to be careful here because Oh because of that. Oh. <laughs> it might might have been a good idea to maybe add like checkpoints partway through, but also these levels are very short. No, I think I think the levels are okay. I think they've they've done all right. I yeah. think their their only mistake yeah, no, I was... is is that those those spikes kill you from the side. No, what, yeah, I was th what I meant was I was about to say it would have been nice to have checkpoints, but if that did, I feel like it would oh, completely ruin the it. it would completely ruin the difficulty. Yeah, I they think added so. checkpoints and. And I'm getting there. I, I kind of feel like I'm making progress. Yeah. Shall we shall we start talking about the, the mark scheme? Okay. So the first part, uh, presentation, we're looking at the graphics, the audio, and the information design. And quite frankly, I think they've done a great job here. Yeah. No, it's very nice. I've got really nice sound effects. Um, the, 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 the little spaceman's cute. The animation's nice. It's clear. Mm -hmm. Um, I know exactly like, what I'm trying to do. All of the dangerous things are bright red. Exactly. And that yeah. yeah. makes it very obvious yeah. what's going on. So the the only thing that I would say is, is the <laughs> is the slight clash in styles between the pixel levels and your little spaceman. Um, yeah. But you know, but that's a that's a fairly minor point. I mean, for me, it's certainly yeah. at the professional level. So kind of you know. Um, and it and it's verging on impactful, I think, because it's it's so cute. 
So with the what description of impactful, is? we've got complete, effective, and appealing. And I'll say, um, oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, I would say that. Uh, I can't switch mid fall okay. either. I would say that actually, especially the music. I'm really enjoying the music. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's nicely done. <coughs> um, can I just fall so, over? No. I would. I would. Personally, uh, I would actually be entirely happy to put them at the excellent level if it wasn't for that yeah. minor uh, inconsistency with the visuals. Yeah, yeah, no, um, I agree. Well, well, I think I think you know benefit of the doubt. Let's let's put them up there because it, it is nice. I and uh, you know, like I said, it it it, it <coughs> definitely uh, definitely been carefully thought through. Um, play mm. meaningful play. Um, I would say it's at least good. So good is engaging. So you know, I'm definitely thinking about what I'm doing. Um, yes. I is it okay. fun? I would say that it's almost fun. Um, one of the things with excellence, uh, with with fun, is um, on that one. It also says that there are no bugs, ah. and that. Maybe it was intended, in which case I guess it's technically oh. not a bug, but I think that's, that would actually be worse. Um, yeah. But that, specifically the, the spikes can kill you from the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I haven't uh, been watching the screen, so I haven't... It's very cute. The I thing I had before is I, I, I went off the side and fell into the spikes, which was a bit mean. Oh, there's no wall uh, there. There's no wall there, which is I think is a slight... Is uh, a slight error in level design but otherwise this is quite cute so it re I, oh god it requires you to I, make the kind of cognitive leap that you you want to fall off and then use this from the opposite side well, that's quite nice i think it's definitely met uh, oh, no, like engaging that. right we've got multiple mechanics um yeah. we've got yeah uh, how would you describe the controls yeah, they're not. They're, they're good. They're good. I mean, it's not really the controls. I said the the, the hitbox thing is a is a pain, but the yeah. controls are good. The little character's got a little bit of momentum, which I'm finding a little mm. bit tricky, but not too bad. And uh, I think it's. It. I think you've got reasonable complexity here with like the moving platforms. Yeah, you and have. You got you know and, and, and this thing with different... the yeah with the walls and stuff. So I I would say I would say that it's um. Yeah, is it fun? It's it's. I would I would I I really like, the fact that we've had so much difficulty about you've had so much difficulty with the whole um. Uh, that's gonna be sure this fight. <laughs> Good, I couldn't remember. No, I I'm I'm gonna um, say I I, I know I'm finding fights. I know I'm finding it tricky, but I am still enjoying playing it a lot. So I'm gonna. Oops. Oh. I should have stuck to my guns there. So I'm going to say that we should probably put it for excellent there as well. I reckon. Oh, I keep there's a there's a there's a um, there's a kind of like uh, automatic reflex to hit jump. Yeah, without... I think that's also one one thing is oh, like, no. using space for this. I think is is very sensible because of like, in terms of. Oh. But yeah, you oh, have that downside that you know in a platformer. People are very ingrained uh, to treat space as the jump. Yeah. So it's, I don't um, think there's any way around that. Sort of, they kind of. No. Uh, it just requires a sort of shift in. Um, okay. Well. Okay, so. I would put it halfway between good or excellent, but um, what, what? Yeah. What, um, what would you say? Uh, meaningful play. No, I, I, I think as I'm, I'm really engaged with it, and there's, there's a few niggles here and there, but there's enough going on that it's, I, I would say it's, uh, it's at the excellent level for meaningful play. Um, okay. Let's talk about, let's talk about level design. Um, so what we're looking for is um, goals, risks, and rewards. So what's my goal? So my goal is um, 
to obviously collect all the yellow make, make my way through the levels things. and well the, the yeah actually that is true I'm not entirely sure uh okay so does that mean I've got to come back now Presumably. yeah I think it's just going back but did I miss the door is there a door somewhere I must have I must no, have passed I, a closed I, door yeah there must have been one at the start so I quite like that that's a nice little bit of level design to make me go back through again I'm not I think I disagree because although everything's upside down it hasn't actually changed anything about the sort of challenge of the level it's just making you do the same thing twice oh, that's um, the door. there we go uh, oh no it's, it won't let me go around. yeah oh did I start up there yeah you did maybe they should have done a bit more to to show me the door at the beginning right got it okay no I kind of um, quite like that um, I think, yeah, to be fair, I think mostly the level design has been very good, but that, that one specific level I have a bit of a... I don't like that it seems to just be saying, okay, well, you got to the end, just do it again. Ooh. Oh, my life. Ah! Oh, wow, that is... Not what I was expecting. Huh? <laughs> I, I've got a feeling I did better on this the first time than I'm ever going to do again. Um, just through sheer luck. Oops. Too, I do think there's one, um, one, one, I guess, minor point is that the yellow... I thought it was the green gem things uh, are the ones that, like, activate the obstacles and you have to collect the yellow yeah. ones. But so that's, so, yeah, so we talk, we're supposed to be talking about goals, aren't we? So um, yeah, yeah so, so so I think I I'd agree with that. There's a oh, there's a problem if you go through this. So the 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 fact that the yellow gems also do things. I I also do the um, the barriers. I also find it a bit perplexing. It's like, am I supposed to be collecting the gems, or like, can I do this without collecting the green gems, for example? Um. Well, to so, be yeah. fair, with the way the levels are designed, I don't think you can avoid getting the green gems just because they're required to get through the level. Um, oh. So I'm not sure if it actually, even if you technically don't need them as part of the sort of win conditions, I think yeah, they've but... designed it so you have to gather them anyway, Yeah. which might means they might as well be um, part of the win condition. See, they feel like they've got, but... they're a bit vicious as well. Um, okay, so rewards. yeah. So in terms of goals, I the goals kind of here, but it but it's a little bit ambiguous. What about risks and rewards? Have I got alternative routes through, or it, you know, it doesn't look so so far. But like it seems like pretty much every level is this is how you solve it. Oh, this that's um, wicked that bit there. Um, because of the uh, sort of. Video compression. I can't actually. Every time you go into there, I can't see what happens. Uh, you right. walk into a blue room and explode. <laughs> <laughs> is what happens on my end. Yeah. Well, there's this. There's a. There's a. A, a buzz saw thing there. But there's. There's. So with that room at the end, there's blue at the top and the bottom, which basically makes you. Mm. Well, we were talking like Flappy Bird. So you. You basically forced yeah. to to do that. Um. Oh, but like how oh. you get how you get through there is really tricky. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you have much in the terms of options. So the the risk reward part seems absent to me. Um, how do I end up? Wait, oh, got there. Oh, right, finally made it. I'm not so hollow, Victor. I'm not. Oh, gee. <laughs> How that was I... terrifying. Ah, okay, presumably so... there's a... Um... How are we yeah. going to beat that? So he comes across oh. even if I don't do anything. 
I know, it moves no. when I move. What happens if you just run across? It seems to be when you flip. If you just run towards it. Oh, you're right. Okay. Interesting. So if I if I collect it. There we go. Ah. And then that will. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Ah. Uh, so here we go, and then. Oh, just touched it. It's another example of a hitbox. Can you get through game. that yellow gap without picking up the green gem? So, okay, so if I go there and go, oh, didn't make it. If I go there. So that flips me though, doesn't it? So I need to be. <laughs> I reckon that I need to do something. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it, so back of it also. I, I I think I might be. I think I, I this is probably too much for my brain to solve this puzzle and talk at the same time. Yeah. So so let's so let's um actually where did I get to? I'm not sure which level this was. Is this sort of unlocked? I think that might be the last one. Oh, that's a three sets. That's the one. So is that the final level? Number 13. No. No. I, I, I assumed that because it was called because uh, uh, not so hollow victory. Yeah. They're very second. Okay. All right. So where do we get to? We're talking about goals versus rewards. So I think I think we've yeah. definitely got we've definitely got a sort of goal, but it's a little bit vague. Um, hmm. Risks and rewards. I'm not sure that they've set I... that up particularly. Um, there's no, I think there's, there's no there. score, is there, for me to go through? I'm just trying. I to... suppose you've got the count of injuries, but that's not. That's not. It doesn't seem like a risk or a reward to me to just track how many times you've died. Like I suppose you could Raft ride. run, this go for low injury runs, and compare it to other people. Yeah. But that's not. It's not really. No. So, so there is a little element. Game. There's a little element of that. But it's not really about making choices. No. What is that it's tiny blue thing? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, there's a there's a yellow thing that looks like I had to hit. So okay. So I'm wondering whether this is another one where, although the puzzle designs are, are, are pretty good, mm. the they've forgotten about sort of giving you choices it, within the puzzles. Yeah. Um, do this and because there's no and well. and because the goal is a bit vague it's like well am I trying to do this quickly am I trying to mm. you know what am I trying to do here so satisfactory would be a coherent set of goals rest and rewards and I think they definitely don't have that no unfortunately not um, um, pass is a limited set of goals rest and rewards and then poor is incoherent or very limited I wouldn't and say yeah, I'd I mean, be, I, I personally would be leaning more towards the fore end than the pass. Well, because I don't, I, I just. I don't, don't know. I, I think it's almost like. Ugh, so I have to make my way back on that one. Okay, so okay, so the goal, the goal's a bit vague. Hmm. Um, and then the risks and rewards are, as you said, yeah, it, prob it probably is. Because um, it's because there's no, there's, you know, they, they've not added something which has that kind of score element to it that would make the difference. Mm. So it's not like I'm trying to collect stuff and build up a score. It's not like I'm trying to do it quickly and therefore I have to make decisions about am I going to take risks or not. Because, because it literally is a can you solve this in whatever way you can and then it gets signed off right they've, they've lost mm. that whole opportunity for, for that sort of agency in the game um, yeah oh I need to move left with that 
Um, and that's the problem. So yeah, I think you're probably right. Um, thankfully, because I, I, I do still like this game quite a lot, I think the pacing's a lot better, right? Um, yes. And that um, we've we've definitely wise. we've definitely got some much more interesting puzzles. It's mm. got harder as we've gone through. Um, I think oops. even within the levels, um, there's pretty good pace. There's pretty yeah. good um, pacing because. Um, and there feels like there's. I can't remember which level it was, but there's been a few levels where, you know, you start with relatively. Yeah straightforward versions of whatever it is you're doing yeah um yeah and there's and there's pause points in the levels as well where yeah where you get you the chance to can't take your breath take your breath so so for me that probably puts it up at the um at the at least at the good level for pacing yeah so for so for good we're saying it's got a it's rising over time in a coherent pattern, which I think absolutely. Yeah, here's one of those pause to go up to. Yeah. yeah, to go up to excellent, uh, oh, it needs damn. to have a coherent and well balanced pattern. So this, this comes down to: Do we think this that the difficulty curve here is well balanced? It, and it's not bad, um, but this, it, yeah, it, this as it, you're the one playing it, this mainly comes down to you. Yeah, it's not bad. I I think kind of um, it. It's maybe you know it's got a few rough spots, mm. um, and it's difficult. But it's always difficult to tell whether that's the game or that's just the player, right? Um, mm. But uh, yeah, so uh, so in terms of the pacing, so we're definitely a good tension is rising over time in a coherent pattern. Is it a well balanced pattern? It it feels like it's knocking on that certainly. Maybe with one or two. Halfway between? Halfway between, I think, yeah. Right, let's see if I can do this. So I know what I need to do here, but I got killed by that damnable spike again. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, so this is quite hard now, but then this is the last level, I think. Um, okay, so what about um, the tutorial element? So maybe I should go back here. Remind ourselves. So when I play level one, I get this little thing at the bottom saying yeah. go left and right with a space um and that's is that it well so this level i mean the whole level is just showing you yeah how to do that i guess yeah so um, so they're doing a lot through level design so that level it teaches me about the gravity reversal it te teaches mm. me about the door um and then this one gives so me these one. collectibles but it doesn't it, so it does show you the door just off in the corner. It's partly and, covered and, by the. And when I get the collectible, then it goes and then it, it shows does me. Open. Yeah. Okay. So so I think they could have maybe done a little bit more there, but but it, it does work. So yeah, I think they've done a reasonable job here of of, of teaching you. Yeah. There we go. And then and then do the same here. And the, and this is what I mean about yeah. the difficulty going up in a really nice smooth way at this point. Mm. Um, and and then this one. All of the previous levels have been just a single frame. Yeah. So then making it the only thing you can do there is jump upwards yeah. essentially. Yeah. I think yeah, it's it's um it's largely pretty well explained. From what I've seen, there is only one thing that I have a, a very minor gripe about. Yeah. Which is if you go back to the final level. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I think it's the go. final level. This one. Yeah, that um, blue platform moves side to side yeah, each it, time you flip. And it's a bit different than and everything else like that. It took me so. a while to work out what that was, yeah. um, just watching it. Yeah. Um, and I, I had no idea how that was behaving. Yeah. And because it's also blue, uh, like the bits that flip you up yes. and down. Yeah, um, that, that's, what thought, confused, that's, that's what confused me. Um, but you well, know, I I think that's if that's the only thing. So I mean, yeah. I I would say it's certainly certainly at the the good level, right? Which Absolutely. is gradual explanation of gameplay, fully aligned with play, right? It's there. Yeah. Um, and and actually, the the excellent is sometimes communicated through level design, and and I think that they quite a lot of it is communicated through level design actually at the beginning. I think um, obviously the actual controls, the left right space does. There's not really any way to do that other than just showing you what the controls look like. Yeah. 
Um, Yay! So that's fine. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Space Manual successfully made it... Uh, Space Manual successfully made it through the terribly designed space colony and arrived at the cafeteria. He has experienced 144 injuries. Two weeks late, but not to worry. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I think for me the tutorial level is, is at the mm. is, is at the excellent level. Um, mm. uh, and mostly, it's mostly, mostly they've so taken advantage of those sort of yeah. um, like with the color design and stuff. Yeah, they've taken true. advantage of that by showing like and yeah, a lot of consistency. The big red things are probably going to kill you, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so, um, so I suppose prize worthy is, is is where it's fully fully explained through level design, um, and they've mm. they've almost achieved that, right? Um, if you if you look at uh, if you go to level three, sorry, on there, yeah, and if you look on the left, top left, it shows you. So the name of the level comes up. Maybe you don't yeah. touch that. Yeah. Um, which I I quite like. Um, yeah. As uh, using the sort of names of the levels as well. Yeah, that's quite cute, isn't it? Do a little bit of and not I... explain what's happening, but give a sort yeah. of clue as to what I might can't... be going on. Level seven was one of these levels I got stuck on, but and when they when they introduce, um, I can't remember when they do it, but when they yeah they introduce these sort of various elements. Not that was not, not that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I I would say actually for the tutorial, it's it's. It's at the excellent level. Um, Definitely on the excellent level. This and and maybe there's an argument to say it's halfway between excellent and prize worthy, because they're. Mm -hmm. I can't think of many examples of where they're not. There's that kind of little blue platform that they're just expecting you to notice, and I don't think you've encountered before. But most of the other yeah. stuff they introduce really steadily through the other levels, in a really coherent way. So yeah, I think yeah. they've done. I think they've done a very nice job. Um, core dynamic. Uh, what did um, they go sorry, for? for? We, sorry. Uh, so uh, so that, I, yeah, that's going on excellent. Yeah, I reckon no halfway. I reckon halfway between excellent and prize worthy. Halfway. I think it's really really good. Yeah, um, it is that there's just a single very small bit right at the end. Yes. So. Um, and then the core dynamic. Um, right. What did they go for for their core dynamic? Um, let's have a look. This is a name. Spatial reasoning, which. I totally agree with. Yes, I think that's that's right. They've kind of not got anything. There's a there's a puzzle element, but it's all in service of that of that spatial reasoning at a part. Um, They've got references. In so their, uh, game yeah. notes. Well, um, so a good would be a clear core dynamic that's supported by the primary mechanics. Yes. Mm. Excellent would be a clear core dynamic that's supported by an integrated set of mechanics. So we've got the so are they, are they an integrated set of mechanics? I think they are. So it's things like the collectibles, but they flip the platforms for you. You've got the moving mm. platforms. You can jump on either side of things. Um, uh, yeah, I I think they're up at the excellent level. I think. Um, so the a prize worthy would yeah. be to be supported by integrated set of mechanics and other dynamics. I'm not convinced there's other dynamics going on, but I would say it's certainly at the no. excellent level. Yeah, I mean, in their description, in their document, um, they talk a lot about the spatial reasoning and how it all works, but they also don't seem to think there's any uh, other dynamics in there. So I think that's. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've been sat trying to think of any mechanics in this game that aren't. No. No. So it's uh, so. Don't, don't line with it. So that's yeah. that's excellent, and I, and you know that's very good. And then so I'm intrigued to know what the feedback oh, was that's... that they had. Right, dynamics. I have to type this up later because there is no way anyone else would be able to um, read my handwriting. Um, right. The feedback. Let's see. So yeah, what do they say? Um, 
Okay, so they had um, some feedback about uh, allowing the... So they say that the initial feedback was um, about ensuring the player was clued in on the solution to the puzzle and saying that they need to be able to decipher it uh, at any time. Um, which, uh, and again, I have, didn't see the early versions of this, right. so I don't uh, know how much that's changed. Um, but it basically came back as feedback about not just the level design, but where the camera is. Uh, uh, from okay. what I'm reading, it sounds like the initial way they had it was just the whole level was visible at once. Uh, um, and they've shifted it now so that you can only see the bit you have to be focusing on, which is is a good adjustment. Yeah, or, or uh, possibly, or yeah, or something. About, and they've said uh, here, like some levels may extend uh, far to the right, but we try to keep each challenge self-contained, uh, uh, and so the player can see it all with small break areas to help the flow. Uh. Yeah, um, uh, so the small break areas are, is what you mentioned, and that, that works really well. Okay. Oh. Um, Did they get feedback to get rid of those damn spikes? Because that's... <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately, they did not. So the second bit of feedback they had was, how would you differentiate novice players from expert players? Right, so this is the goals, risk, rewards thing. So I'm intrigued yeah, as to what so they they've actually here. said um, they were asked if they could, like essentially restructure the levels with hidden parts or shortcuts yes and they decided to not do that um because they say we felt it would sabotage how players interact with the level and how they see it in their head adding too many parts or areas could muddle our level design um yeah okay i, I can understand that might I, mean, not. I mean i, th I think yeah. particularly if they were told that at the point where they actually already had some quite nice working levels mm. Um, but, but they, yeah, they it, have it's, said it's, that a, was it's a problem. Fairly late on in the process. Yeah. As that... they've said, instead we chose to implement a death counter and yeah. um, referring to it as a workplace injury. Yeah. Um, and then okay. a rank would be shown. So, so that's interesting. So, so we only had one really significant criticism of this game, right? And, and that criticism yeah. was the goals, risks, and rewards. So it's it's a shame that they were that that was actually flagged and they weren't able to do anything about it. Um, so okay, so it sounds to me like some of the feedback was addressed and the changes have been somewhat successful. So mm. that's the kind of you know the camera aspect you mentioned. Um, but actually, there's also this. You know, it's a shame they haven't taken advantage of some of the other feedback they've got. I, I, I suspect they got it too late in the process. So for me, I think you know, at least they're aware of it. But yeah, I'm not convinced by that and, argument. I think it would have made it a, a, yeah. a, a lot better if you'd have had this mechanism, as you know, as you said, to differentiate between between weaker and better players um, using the goals, risks, rewards. Yeah. So yeah. So for me, probably a satisfactory. I think. Yeah, I think I would agree with that. I mean, to be fair, they do actually address all of the feedback, uh, just they disagreed with it, um, which is <laughs> an interesting yeah. start to say. Yeah, it is. But, you know, if you feel strongly about your game, you can't necessarily mm. blame people. But, but yeah, unfortunately, in this case, I think it would really have helped. Um, okay, let's move on to the next game. Okay, so our last game in this video is Cherry Hunter. Here we go. So, quite a clean, simple title screen. I can move yep. left and right and oh, simply yeah. collect a cherry. Yay! But I have to click begin. There we go. So, even the title screen that sort of teaching you, yeah. um, in theory, what you can do. Go, go that way and space to jump. Okay. <laughs> huh. Nice noise. Okay, and that's that little button. And then danger. Oops. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I think I've lost something that I need 
so I've been told to reset the level. Yes. That's quite nice. I presume that means I've, I did play this in the, in the expo, so I know that you use the oops, you use the um, yeah, you use those stones to solve problems. Rainbow. Hmm. Okay. I haven't needed one so far. Okay, couldn't get in there. All right. Yeah, so one of the things with what this that is... Um... So... Is that uh, you can actually stick to the side of walls. Yes. But what, I'm also a bit confused here. So I did actually play this in the expo. So I remember, and I remember in the expo it being a bit more obvious. So I'm guessing that I need to stick a stone on here in order to do something. But I can't see what it is. Does it animate one of these platforms? Oh yeah, it's moved. So does that make that yeah. platform move? Yeah, so that's a, this is a problem, right? Because I can't see that. So I, I mm. have no idea that was going on. And then, oh, darn it. I don't really want to do that. Yes. I also played this in the expo, and what I found was that moving these rocks the right way uh, is difficult. Oh, it. Let me go on with that. Get the cherry. Oh, it will. So what are the cherries then? So we got the cherries. Um. So if I put that rock on, no, I can't get that rock. On. I'm not sure why that rock's there. It almost feels like they've lost an opportunity to show me how to use the rocks. Is that? I think it might be that you're meant to push it onto the button to activate something, but they've just because it's already on the bottom, on the button. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you don't. It doesn't do that. Right. So now I've got my rock going. So ah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, we figured it out, but it could have been a bit more naturally explained to me. And I'm wondering if I. It also figured... still doesn't. Oh, there we go. There was a long time there before you could see that anything yeah. else had happened. Yep. Which. And I've still got that. I, I still don't know why I'm collecting cherries. What are they for? Oh, that's cute. A little bit of tree. Oh, I'm counting the cherries down. There we go. And I've got some cherries. And then, oh, I have to click on next level. Okay, so we're on the next level. Still don't know why I'm collecting cherries, but it seems to be. It's important enough they put it in the title of the game. Oh, but there's the wall, sticky wall jump you mentioned. Mm. Well, you can't jump, you just get stuck. Yeah, you're right. Um, so presumably I need to get some rocks and put them in there. Yes. So let me do that. So while I am getting rocks... Oh, E. I can pick a rock up. E. That, oh, I can't... Oh, I've pressed and hold it to carry the rock. That's not that intuitive, but... Again, we kind of got there in the end. Oops. That's bad. Now I could if you... <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh dear. It's in this position, by... you can't really... I think I you just might... fall to my death. Yeah. Right. It might be the case that that platform eventually shunts you. Right. Um, all, the, all the way back up. But... Right, let's get the rock. Okay, should we just start making our way through the uh, criteria? Sure. So, so we've the got first presentation. So graphics, audio, and information design is the first part of this. Yeah. Um, so so I would describe this as well. Is it where is it in terms of praise? Is it workable or is it flawed? It's kind of it feels that kind of level to me. It's simple, but it's consistent. It kind of. Um, it's got music. Oh. I've got sound effects. I don't know. I'd probably go with workable. If the smiley faces on the rocks are necessarily <laughs> consistent with everything else. Yeah, but you know, oops. I couldn't get past this bit uh, when I was trying it. The stacking of the rocks proved too challenging for me. Oh, there we go. So presumably I have to put a rock on here. 
but I don't know why. I guess... Oh! Oh dear. Oh, it, it does leave the rocks where you left them, so that's quite nice. Um, yeah. Um, so presentation-wise, yeah, I, I think I think I go with workable. I think it's kind of it's it's a little plain, but you know, does the job. Mm. Looks looks reasonable. Um, meaningful play it's, again. I would say. Well, in terms of so those um, little switches that trigger a rainbow are the sort of checkpoints, and I'm not sure how well that's communicated although maybe that's more to do with tutorialization than um yeah i hadn't necessarily realized that is information design i i can leap off of this bit yeah oh looks like it kills me some nice little effects i like the little particle effects they're quite cute do i have to go and i will say the the oh. audio in this yeah. does seem you know, again, it's it's simple, but it does the job. It's nice. Yeah. The background. Yeah, is, no, is I'm I'm happy with nice the. Nice and simple. You've got and, a jump sound. And it's and it's actually, you know, it's playable. So it's definitely you that's know. the satisfactory level. Definitely there. I would, yeah. Um, you know, there's and there's it, bits I would like extra. <laughs> like there's no sound with the button interactions, and if I remember, I, I don't think there's a sound for when you die. But it, yeah. it works. And like I said, in gameplay, gameplay, it, it's definitely playable. And I would say that it's, it's. I wouldn't say it's fully engaging, but I would say that it's it's getting there. I'm kind of, you know, I'm definitely concentrating and thinking about how to do the level. So I would say for meaningful play, halfway between satisfactory and good, I think. Rocks, a lot of rocks at the beginning of the level, which might. Which I'm, oh, it's miles away from where I need them. That's quite frustrating. Mm. Now, now it's not I feeling would... like play now, now it's feeling like work. <laughs> uh, See, I, I think that, yeah, I would. I would put it significantly more towards the satisfact that like, it's playable, but there's not a huge amount of mechanics. Yeah. Um, and while the controls are like they they work, but at least when I was playing it, I found them a little bit awkward. Yeah, uh, oh, I can pick him up. He's good. Yes, um, you might be. Maybe you're right. There's a sort of yeah. So okay, so we say that it's kind of maybe well, if we said halfway between playable and engaging for play, because I am playing it. Okay. And then that takes us on to level design. And my pen is broken. <laughs> Um, is there a coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards? So, I goals? Would say no. <laughs> yeah, what's my goal? So I've got to progress through the, the level. You get a num. You can pick up cherries, but yeah. it doesn't seem to be necessary to complete the level because. No, I don't really know why you, I'm picking up cherries. In the last level, you didn't pick up all the cherries. Oops. Still made it through. Yeah. You also like you, so you lose cherries when you die. So maybe they're forms of extra lives. Yeah, I think there's something like but that going I, on, isn't there? It's it it happens, but it's right up on the edge of the screen. So I'm not sure this. That it's it's that beginning to feel a little bit random as well. It feels like oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm 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 losing losing some direction here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing or, or why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So I think I think the goals are a little bit muddled um, in terms of risks and rewards. Uh, they are present here, I think. Oops. Oh, that's okay. 
Well but, done. But there's no rocks for me to get. Is there, is there a rock down here? There's a rock down here. Because there's definitely some, that cherry there. How do I Obviously, do? there's some additional work you need to do to get that. But you well, don't there's, have. There's a rock, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, so it's not critical, but you can choose to. You can choose to put in the extra de effort and so risk do being I need, do killed. I, need, I think I need. Oh, darn. I think I need um, that rock. That. Oh dear, and I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. So I. I think it's a bit. I think the goals are a bit confused, and I think the risks and rewards, because it's not clear what the cherries do. Mm. There are a few little things there, so um, it's unfortunate I kind of skipped past it. Now, but there was that one where I could I could go and I could have gone and got an extra cherry, right? Yeah. Um, um, and and so maybe so there are some in here, but because and I think the cherries are your lives, right? Because I only had one then and I died. Yeah. So they're extra lives. But the problem is, if they're extra lives, they shouldn't be the point of the game. They should be the... They're the kind of... They're the bait, right? The thing that kind of makes me... Makes me take risks, right? And do things that otherwise I, I wouldn't want to do. So, At the end of the level, obviously, you get... You get that little animation of a tree with some cherries growing on it. So I think maybe... Yeah. Yeah, it's in, but it's not clear why that's a good thing or what you're trying to achieve. So, so even they, if it is, so they they're doing something cherries. slightly odd, which is they're using the cherries are your lives, and they're also your score. Yeah, which I suppose is an incentive to avoid taking risks, but then like the reward for I, taking risks is I more cherries. Extra. Yeah. Right. Um, and there are there are some alternative routes through. Like we, we like I said, we just saw one. Oops. Oh. 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 See, hey. that's forgiving. That's what I like to see. <laughs> like this one here, right? So I don't have to go in here, but I can. And when I do, it moves the the thing down the bottom right, and now I can go and get that cherry. So this is a nice example of me falling to my death. Oh, so a bit of a way So that was a nice example of there being a, a, an extra route yeah. that, that you could take, right? But it also so, sort of shows that, like, yes, you went and got some extra points or whatever, but then you immediately lose it because you Well, yeah, but, the, but then that's the, that's the risk-reward thing, right? I mean, I, you know, that's okay. I suppose. I, I think there's, you know, so there are some examples of that. Mm. Um, yay. Right, so if we if we were to think about the, the risk rewards thing, satisfactory would be a coherent set of risks, goals, risks, and rewards, right? And I think um, whereas pass would be a limited set. And I kind of feel that we're in that kind of ballpark because we've got we've got some examples, but at yeah. the same time it's a little bit muddled. Right? Um, yeah. So there, there's definitely all three, but I don't, I don't think it's, I, I don't think it's current. Personally, I, the way they've set this up, I don't think it makes sense. Um, oh, uh, okay, okay. That was bad. That's, yeah. No, I'm dead. So yeah. So yeah. It, it, it could definitely well, you be. You also take the risk of the, could um, be better. the level breaking. Yeah. I mean, it could definitely be better um, executed, but it's there. So, mm -hmm. so maybe halfway between the two. Um, this is, uh, and then, and then we're on to pacing. Um, the levels are quite long, so it's actually quite hard to tell. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Wait, so that was. That was oh, goals, so goals, risk, rewards. Yeah. Oh, so Okay. Yes. So this is about the rise, the rise of tension, and how well the difficulty curve is managed. So I think. So it is getting harder. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, but it feels. 
I don't know, it, it feels a little bit lost. I'm going to die again, mate. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, it feels a little bit lost in the level space. Like I said, it feels like the levels are, are really big mm. and there's a lot going on. Um, but, yeah, the, the change in difficulty uh, seems a little bit it's very, arbitrary. Yeah, it's not consistent. And like I said, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wow, this is... A oh, okay, here we go. This escalation. Is... Yep, maybe we and spoke too soon. that was not soon. intentional. <laughs> um, yeah, here we have that issue with these two platforms that seem to be perfectly in sync, so... Yeah. Th there's no... Yeah. So, so I think there's... You will need to get off this one. Uh, but I can get on here to get out of there. Okay, that's what that's there for. Ah, and then I get the cherry, so this is my risk reward. Okay. So, I mean, so okay, so goals, risk and rewards, goals rip muddled. Um, there, are the, there are the things we said that. Pacing, it's getting harder over time. So I would say that it's satisfactory. Tension clearly rises over time, yeah. but, I'm, but I'm missing the kind of coherent pattern, I think. Mm. Um, Definitely agree. And tutorial. Do you, how did we start off with? So we we had. In fact, shall we shall we restart the game and see where we get to? Yeah, I don't think you can drop back to the main menu. So so let me. I will just relaunch. There we go. Oh. So um, let's think about the tutorial part here. So we start off. I've got oh yeah, little little ghost me with an arrow. Yeah. And a space. What I will say at the back there, um, when you first spawn in, this this rock appears. Yeah. And I don't I don't really see what the point of that is. No, I think now, it's just if a... the goal is to communicate with the rocks, do doing that while simultaneously yeah. showing like the ghost for movement seems like it would be. Yeah, that's a bit muddled. Yeah, and then, and then this rock starts on this switch. Yeah, as well, which is slightly so. odd. So I I like some of the things they've done here, like the little jump at the beginning. That was good. The the mm. things popping up on the screen was good, but then they just seem to have thrown some sort of arbitrary bits of level design in that that you would just get confused by. Um, so this yeah. is something that. They, this next bit is something that uh, when talking to, someone, to talking to them in the lab, yeah, uh, they were talking about, which was this bit where if you you know you touch the rocks and they slide down, so you know that you can move them, yeah, um, which is helpful. Um, but at this point, they haven't shown you that you can pick them up, no, which can make getting them out of that pit a little bit awkward, yeah. And this this is strange as well, like this bit here where it's too wide, you can't see the mm. you can't see the thing. So so I I think they've made an attempt with the tutorial, but I'm I'm not sure it's quite worked. So pass mm. would be gradual explanation of game for controls revealed as you play. Um, and satisfactory would be somewhat aligned with play. And I think, I think... maybe again, that's the ballpark, right? It's like there's they're definitely revealed as you play, and there's a little bit of alignment. So maybe halfway between the two? Well, I don't... I'm not entirely sure that... Oh, or at least if they are revealed as you play, I'm not certain that the order is necessarily sensible. Like, for instance, no. starting with those rocks, that rock in the beginning. And also, you know, it shows you how the rocks work. But it doesn't show you how the rocks work because it doesn't tell you that you can pick them up. Yeah. You can still do that, but it only teaches you after you've spent a level playing with the rocks already. Yeah. So, I I think I would I think I would leave it in uh, the sort of pass level because although they are somewhat aligned with play, I think there's there's enough there's a, it's just a couple of like minor mistakes yeah. in how they're teaching it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's fair enough. Um, oh, oh, it's going to crash then. If I pick it up. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, 
I love the way you pick up this massive rock and it has no impact on you at all. Um, okay, core dynamic. Well, it does replace your face. <laughs> it does replace your face, it's true. Um, yeah, core dynamic. That's interesting. Um... Um, so what would you say the core dynamic is? I, I've already looked at the document, so I know what they've said. So let's have a think about this. Um, well, there's a little bit of spatial reasoning going on. There's a little bit of collection going on. Um, I would say... <sighs> yeah, it's difficult. I don't know. It, it, it feels a bit adrift. I would say they don't have a strong core dynamic. Um, but those are the two ones that would... Collection, collection and... There's a bit of exploration going on. So I would say that the two ones that, that are candidates would be, would be um, spatial reasoning and collection. Um, yeah, so in the, in the, the game doc they've given, um, they said spatial reasoning. Yeah. Um, because it's a platformer and you traverse the terrain yep. solving small puzzles. Um, and they've said here, there's a small collection dynamic to the game where you put less emphasis on this by having cherries represent lives and acting as a reward for completing spatial reasoning challenges. And uh, so they've obviously thought about this, but I'm not sure that the response to that is, or the conclusion they've drawn there is necessarily the best one. No. No. Um, because I, I think... I agree. Oh. I agree. It's sort of... I think that change might have ac actually made it um, less clear. I mean, it's the goal, actually, again. It's like, why am I playing this? Mm. Right? What, what's the purpose of playing this? Um... You know, I, I, I don't have a score. Level. I think know? that reach the end of the level is a perfectly reasonable thing to set as a goal. But the fact that at the end of the level it shows you how many cherries you have yeah. on that tree makes it seem well, like, well, the goal is to collect all the cherries. Yes, well, you see, but yes, you're right. Um, so I, th I, I, think, I think it's a little bit confused, and I, I would say actually that it doesn't really have a clear core dynamic. Um, mm. Probably spatial... Probably spatial reasoning is the biggest one, but um, so okay. Look, a pass would be an attempt at a core dynamic, but not well supported by the primary mechanics. Um, I think that pretty. I think that is mostly correct. Yeah, it feels the, the, it feels the, right to me. So core is an attempt at core dynamic, but the primary mechanics detract from it, and I don't think. I don't think they're necessarily detracting from it. No, it's, it, there is a bit. No, of, no, no. I mean, I mean, you know, the, the core stuff you're doing is is fine, right? You're yeah. you're um, for a spatial reasoner. You 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 can you can jump. You can pick stuff up and move stuff around and mm. put it down so you can jump on it. And yeah, all, all works well. That's fine. Um, the problem is the is the goals. That the goal is is vague, and that's why it feels a bit that. Um, yeah, a bit unclear. Mm. Um, so yeah, though no, I agree with you. I think um, I think we can go with the go with the pass, there which takes us on to the of... takes us on to the feedback, right? There is four pages of feedback here. <laughs> so um... again, again, we we're, we're after like I think I think we the brief said, please give us one page of feedback, um, yep. and less is more, right? So. But okay, so let, let's I'll let you scan through it through and this. see what, what you think. So the first point is um, saying not to use text to explain everything. Um, so they put the show, don't tell, do, don't show in here. Yep. So they've said they changed that so that to show the rocks moving. Um, we start the level with a rock rolling down the hill. Um, put the rocks in a position where the player walks into them and they move around. Yeah. Putting a rock so they've said here, putting a rock on buttons shows the button can be triggered by rocks, which I think is what they... But I think yeah, that's they're not the, actually showing that, because no. they're not... Because <laughs> they don't show the rock going onto the button. Yeah. yeah. They, they needed to have a thing where you were forced to push the rock out of a, uh, out of a 
tunnel or something, and in doing so, you rolled it over a button, something like that, mm, right? But okay, um, but I, but I like what they're doing there. That kind of whole philosophy of show don't tell, yeah. Yeah, um, they also said that they put a danger spine, a, the danger sign, sorry, um, near um, hazardous things like spikes, yeah. which I think they did in the first level, which sort of runs against the. You know, oh. don't tell them. Although it's part of the level, so that's nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. But they've, yeah, they've, they definitely tried to respond to this. I'm not, I'm not sure they've. Is there, are there any, it off entirely, any other but, elements of feedback that are worth going over? Um, so um, there's a bit here. They're talking that they were given, uh, told that the core dynamic um, wasn't. Super clear. Yep. Um, so that's kind so, of what we were just saying. So what they've said is, um, we realised collection was only one aspect of the main game, so we added more problem-solving challenges and changed the goal to be to finish the level with as many cherries as possible. And we also implemented that cherries get collected as exchange for lives. And they've said by doing this, they've. Uh, focused on spatial reasoning rather than splitting it onto the cat dynamics. Yeah. And again, like it, they've they've tried it, but I don't think the, the changes they've made have been successful at all. I can't get up there. A bit annoying. Um, yeah, I, it does sound like they've kind of. For some reason, I can't get that, that final jump. Um, okay, so look, a, a pass would be feedback was addressed, but the changes have had limited success. And and a lot of the stuff you described has sort of fallen into that category, I think. Mm. Um, you know, they've 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 tried to clarify the core dynamic, but it's not quite worked, right? Yeah. Um, they've tried to. I mean, you know, the tutorial bits. I think they've had a bit more success with, but again, they've they had those instances like putting the rock on a on a button and those kinds of things. So, yeah, it feels like it's at the past level to me. Mm. So a couple of them, but I think they have done well. Uh, apparently, originally the spikes were dark green, and uh, ah, okay. they were told that made them really hard to see. So yep. they made them bright purple. Yep. Um, that works. That's yep. definitely adjusted them. I probably would have like probably would have gone for more of like red for instance is a pretty universal sign of danger but they have made them very visible yep absolutely um yep. they apparent it seems so they were told that the first obstacles you encounter shouldn't be ones that kill you instantly huh. so they've yep. adjusted the obstacles to be like oh there's a small hole you fall in and then can jump back out of yep and you can fill it with uh, rocks you to cross it yeah um, so okay so so in that case if, if those are and also, also there, apparently initially they didn't have a way of uh resetting the level if you accidentally knock all the rocks into a bit so they've added that right. reset level button so, that's, so that that feels that there. feels like it lifts it up a bit to maybe to the satisfactory level to say that some of these things have, have worked um uh, it's been sort of somewhat successful crushed to death i i still feel like it would i would say it's still closer to the past end because while they have made some successful changes the the sort of key ones yeah um like the making what the core dynamic is and well uh, I, I i i agree with you but they're but they're but they we, we might be seeing it that way because they're the things that we've picked up on right Whereas the other things that we sure. you know we'd we'd have moaned about plenty if they'd had invisible spikes and things, so um, yeah, I I think I'm happy for a, a satisfactory for the feedback and then uh, I think they've also um, they've they have a problem that they've they've listed too much stuff, right? So as soon as you do that, there's a yes. danger that you're going to start listing stuff that you weren't successful in. Whereas if you just <laughs> if you mm. just give me two or three different things. Which were kind of key things you fixed and felt were successful, you'd be in a much better place. So, um, yeah. okay, I think we should leave it there. I think that was our last game. 
Um, so, uh, indeed it was. So in that case, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in another video.